So in this video, I'm going to walk and talk you through how to use Google Slides to present your content if you're actually putting a lesson together as part of a course or if you're doing a presentation and you need it to be engaging, this video is for you. Now, I'm not going to teach you everything about Google Slides. I'm going to teach you how to use Google Slides to best effect to try and get those engaging presentations so you can get those conversions or you can get those sales or actually deliver what you want to deliver in your online course. So two main things go into a presentation. It tends to be the style and it tends to be the content. Now, this video is all about the style or slideology, how to actually use slides to best effect. And to start off with, I'm just going to jump straight on over into my desktop. So Google Slides are a free package from Google itself. It's like Microsoft PowerPoint and it's like Apple Keynote, but there are some shareability factors that I prefer to use Google Slides over these other two. I am actually a Mac guy myself, but I tend not to use Keynote and the Microsoft, I tend not to use PowerPoint, but Google Slides actually is my go-to. So head to google.com and you either need a free Google account. That's the best part about Google Slides is it's free. You sign up to Google here or you can go to Google Workspace. You can actually get a, um, a paid Google Workspace if you have a team. But all this comes with Google Drives, Google Slides, Google Notes, Google Docs. So I'm going to go into my Google account. So this is inside of my Google Drive and this is just where I would want to start, for example, some new slides. Now you can either click on the nine dots and then scroll down to slides and open up a slide. This is this will be slides.google.com or you can go over to new and then click Google Slides and you've got two options currently here. You've got a blank presentation and you've got uh, a template. So you can actually start Google Slides from a template. Now I'm going to show you both but I'm going to start off with a blank presentation because I just want to give you an idea of how you would start. So I'm going to click blank presentation. It's going to open up onto something like this. So like I said on the intro, I'm not going to teach you everything how to use Google Slides. Uh, I would just actually get involved and play around with all these different functions. If you have used PowerPoint before, if you have used Keynote, it's very, very similar. Um, but what I would do is I would have a look at some of the uh, the slide templates. So you've got different types of um, slides uh, from from the menu drop down here. You've got title slide, section header, title and body. Uh, you've got a blank uh, blank canvas here. You've got captions. Um, so if you just play around with them, click on them, and it will just give you some sort of blank templates to actually guide you to. You can actually click into each slide and then actually name it. Uh, whatever you want and then from here you can actually then edit the text so you can bold it you can actually put it in a different uh, different color um, very very similar to any sort of uh, page builder that you've used or PowerPoint um, so here you can click subtitle or subheader uh, but what I would encourage you to do is you can actually have a look down the themes uh, the bottom right um, if you like any of these themes, just try them out. You can always add in your own theme. In a sec, I'm going to go through and actually add in our own theme, but I'm just going to click to add subtitle. So you can play around with these uh, these slides individually, or you can actually play around with them um, looking at the actual format of the slide. So if you go to the top and then if you click um, so if you click slide and then you click edit theme, you can actually go into the theme of the slide. And this is probably where I would start with anything here. I would click on the theme itself and then have a think about the background that you want. These are all the different headers and subheaders that will actually come out if you just click next, next, next. Background. I like to have a slightly different background rather than white. So I actually just pick a, a slightly um, grayscale background. Then if you wanted like a watermark um, logo on any of these, I would probably use it on this theme. So for example here, I would then, um, so I would go insert uh, image, upload from my computer, I go to my desktop and then I'll probably go. So I've, I've either got a main logo here um, of my brand that I could actually put in the top right hand corner of, of every slide. Then once I do that, 
you can then just click out and then click next slide, click add a slide, and then it'll be there in the top right hand corner. If that's a little bit um, too in your face, you want it a little bit more subtle, you can go uh, back to slide and then edit theme. And I'm gonna take this out of the main theme here. Make sure you click on the, the top slide. And then I'm just gonna go insert image and I'm gonna click on something a little bit more subtle, which is um, a, a small favicon. Um, and then it's just gonna be white on transparent. So it's a little bit big. If you wanted to be a, a little bit like a watermark, um, nice and uh, don't flip it but nice and small and then you can place that in the top right hand corner um, of your slide so that's quite subtle and then if any of the new slides you come out you can actually see that and then when you click slideshow and you actually present you can actually just see it as, as a watermark so I quite like the look of that you can even put something on the footer um, or down to the left or to the right but this is how you build out um, your main themes using uh, the slides here. So slide, edit theme, and then you can edit out these, these titles. You can actually make these titles bold. You can actually make them italic. You can actually make them different color. Your fonts, making sure if you do have a, a style guide or anything like that, make sure you're applying this to uh, your theme here. So then every time you click to, to start a new slide deck, you've got your style guide and your theme embedded within each folder. So one of the main reasons I use Google Slides over Microsoft PowerPoint or Apple Keynote is they are collaborative and they are shareable. So very easy to share and very very easy to collaborate with uh, the creators. So you can all work on the same slide deck at the same time. So if I was to go to the top right and hit share, I could then get a link. So copy this link and then I could then send that to somebody else or I could invite them just by putting that in, in their email here. Then uh, general access, I could click either restricted or just for myself or anyone with the link. But anyone with the link, I could then make them just a viewer if I'm actually just trying to share something with them uh, if they're not within my team. Or I can click on, they could be a commenter so they can actually work on this document just by commenting or I can make them a full editor. So if I was to make that full editor and then anyone with the link, that link is wide open. So this document is as collaborative as possible. Copy that link or invite them using their email and then click done. So in order to give you some idea of a finished product or a finished presentation, I'm actually just gonna add in, um, I'm gonna start with a template. So I'm gonna go again, click on the plus and then Google Slides and then I'm gonna go from a template. I'm gonna use a template that I've actually presented with in the past and it's got some good ideas of what you can do, uh, what's possible within this Google slide uh, layout. So all I've done here is um, for the background, um, I, I've, I've called this presentation how to design an engaging and high converting webinar so that your audience is left wanting more. So I've got my logo in there. Uh, I've just edited the, uh, the actual title of the slide, bold some of the actual uh, main uh, text in here. But then the, the background, all you need to do is either you can search for, I, I searched for um, a, a blueprint. So you can either go insert image and then you can either upload from your computer, you can search the web, um, or you can actually just use Google here. You can search Google um, and then for, for whatever image you want in the background. So for like the second slide here, I just searched for uh, a background here of uh, someone who doesn't know like what is a webinar and and this is my first main slide what is a webinar it's a sales system uh, it's a little bit overused terminology uh, it's still used a lot today because it works and it's essential transferable skills so this is the point I want to get across but I want to try and keep the slide as engaging as possible and so all I did was um, either Google or if you search for um, any sort of royalty free like Pixabay, Unsplash, um, any of these images that you search for, you can use either in Canva as well. They give you some good imagery uh, so you can actually use them and then place them just as the background for your slides. So, so as they're not so bland and so boring. Then you can use um, certain images. So I've just used a little flow diagram here. Um, so if I was actually to present the slideshow, you can actually see, okay, this is the first step to register, second step to engage, and third step to convert. So I just had these icons ready to go. And then all you need to do is keep your slides 
really, really simple and to the point. So this is what we're going to be covering. We're going to be covering part one, part two, part three. And these slides should be clear. Try not to put too much on a slide, but these are all just subheaders. Um, I've uh, changed the color of my header uh, to, to be a blue and the subheaders um, just to be a little bit bold and out there. And again, so part one, I've put the background in there. You can see the watermark uh, in the top right hand corner. And I've just edit this, edited this title uh, and then away we go. So let's look at another example of a full slide deck. So online, uh, my online revenue workshop, I'm going to select, show you the actual slides. So how to earn your first $1,000 of online revenue without having to start from scratch. Again, my logo is in there. Um, I've just gone with a, a background again and I've made it uh, a little bit like a, a watermark and I've just found this image on Unsplash or Pixabay but then finding another image that actually pops you're in the right place if you hit any of these criteria another image it just pops this training is not for you if and then again I use the same principles like a, a header that's actually a different color and then I bold some of the, the actual text but first my story if you want any of the images you can just upload an image double click in an image you can crop an image so you can actually bring this down uh, you can actually move it left and right and then you can actually click this little uh, guy on here just to rotate the image so that's how to add imagery any other images doing doing the same uh, i've literally just added uh, format options i've just given it a bit of a drop shadow so have a play around with some of these um, angles and border radiuses and distances um, just to actually make these images pop and then again all of these images down the left hand side again there's some more background imagery so just have a look see what this looks like when you hit present so when I hit the slideshow present the slides have got to be really clear you can actually see what you're talking about less of this and more of this so less consuming uh, and then more creating and then in each slide just see if there's a bit of a contrast between the copy and then the background see if it all makes sense and then i should always break it up into if you can three different parts principle one principle two principle three and again that watermark background imagery in there is free from unsplash so i hope that helps that's a very very quick tour on how i use google slides again it's not a full comprehensive tutorial on how to actually use them but it's how to actually get some content on your google slides and actually use a little bit of slideology to make your content engaging to get people to convert when they're watching or listening to your webinars or going through any of your course content and just remember to call them to action at the end of each lesson so they can apply what they have learned and actually get the best results possible and if you wanted to actually go through one of my full presentations i've put together a whole workshop it's an on-demand workshop you can watch to try and see my entire business model on how you can actually start earning your first one thousand dollars of online revenue head over to timpeakman.com forward slash workshop opt into this on-demand training and you can go through and watch this presentation and be sure to take action because the opportunity in this day and age has never been better so that link once more timpeakman.com forward slash workshop looking forward to seeing you inside and on another video real soon